Welcome back to Real Life Reviews and in this video we're going to have a little look at the Blackburn Wayside Multi-Tool and a bit of a shout out to Jules Young who asked us about this and we've got hold of one and that's why we're doing it. So if you have any thoughts about what you might want to see us have a quick look at, uh, do let us know in the comments down below and we'll see what we can do. Now not everyone has necessarily heard of Blackburn. They're, they're a company that, that's kind of made its name in the biking world with sort of bike packing products, bags to, to put on your top tube, um, front of the bike, back of the bike, panniers, that sort of thing. And it's very evident where their, their background is when we take a look at this tool, because in my opinion, it's really aimed at the bike packer or um, gravel biker come mountain biker going on a, a bit of a longer trip. The first thing you notice when you get your hands on this tool is it has a rubber band that goes all the way around it. Uh, what's the purpose of this? Well, presumably it's to stop it rattling a little. Um, does it work? Yes and no. Is it necessary? Actually, I think not. Um, yes, it does rattle slightly more, but you're probably going to have this packed up with something either in a strap or a bag or somewhere and it's not that important. And also in the elements, it'll probably perish and tear after a while. So ultimately, I'm not too worried about that at all. So let's start straight away with what sets this multi-tool up to be different to almost any other multi-tool around there. And that is the Allen keys that it has. So it's lower end Allen keys, two mil, <clears throat> two mil, two and a half, three, four, and five mil are all actually removable Allen keys. And you can pop them off and pull them out and use them as a full-on Allen key with both the ends. So you've got the shorter end if you want a bit more leverage, and then you've got the longer to actually get where you want to get to. That's a real nod to Blackburn's kind of heritage of the off-road, needing to do a little bit more work than necessarily a tweak. So there's your first five tools. This is a 19 function toolkit, um, multi-tool. There's your first five. You've actually got Allen keys that come out and off. If we turn the tool round, and we do have a chain tool, but I'm going to move that out of the way for the moment, we can see the other main multi-tool components. And in terms of hex, if I pull up the outside two, we now have a six and an eight mil. So there's two more to add to the functions. In addition to that, if I tip the eight over a little and you have a good look, what you can see, I hope, is the eight is hollowed out, which means you can use it to, for, to perform a bit more leverage. If I now take off the five mil, then I can put the five mil in there. It's not a snug fit, but it does enable me to have an extension so I can get a bit more torque. And if I've got an awkward uh, hex bolt or something, then I can use that. So arguably, well not arguably, uh, Wayside, Blackburn, the Blackburn Wayside, Blackburn say that that is a function. So this one has two functions, it's an eight mil and it's a hollow out to perform that extra bit. If I now pull up the middle three and drop down the outside two, I can see that I now have Two Torx keys, that's a T25 and a T30, the two you're probably going to use most of, and I have a flathead screwdriver, uh, something that a lot of tools are scrimping on, but we don't have a Phillips screwdriver. So there we go. Also on the inside, we have something that we don't often see on a, a bicycle multi-tool, and that's a knife blade. I've kept the little plastic cover on because it just helps keep things a bit stiffer, but it's a serrated blade. If I turn this round, you can see a little bit better. It's a serrated blade with a small, sharp end of straight blade. So a neat little bit and another tip towards the, the bike packing sort of heritage of Blackburn. Now we come to a part of this tool that, that contains a lot of the functions, and that is the chain tool. 
This version, there the tend to be two versions of a chain tool. One where you use an Allen key that, that comes off the multi-tool, often in a, a tire lever, to turn and act. And the other form is, is this form, where we use the actual multi-tool itself as the point to push the pin through and break the pin or set a new pin on a new chain. So it's, it's a chain tool that doesn't require anything extra or pulling off to use it. It's a straightforward and you can unwind it with your finger, set your chain in the correct part and then use the multi-tool to break the pin. If I continue doing this and take the chain tool completely off, then we get to some more of our functions. If we look at it like that, what we now have on the top here, just working our way through, are three spoke key widths, okay? That's number one, number two, and number three. If I just turn that round and we look at the slot, that slot is a Presta valve core tool that we can put on and then undo our Presta valve. And then finally on here, the actual blade of our chain tool, if I try to get it so you can see a bit of an angle, <clears throat> this acts as a disc pad spreader. So we can put that in and open up our disc pads if we need to on the trail, just get that little, we've got them binding or grabbing a bit and we need to just push them and push the pistons back in. The final element on this multi-tool is a chain assembly hook. And it's on the upper part as I've got the tool at the moment, it's just underneath the holding bar and I found it's quite awkward to get it out so or get it off you're not going to lose this by accident if I just turn it round the best way I found to get this off is to put my thumbs inside and push that will pop the pin the hook up a little bit and then take my disc spreader so I take apart my chain tool and using the disc spreader pop that into the gap and use that to lever the hook and take it off. This is an incredibly useful tool if you have to split and you get a broken chain or you need to do some repairs to your cha chain on the trail, almost mixed up chain and trail then. And more and more multi-tools are beginning to include this on them. So yeah, that's a real plus on this multi-tool. For those of you interested in weight, well, we've weighed this out as it looks here at 191 grams. If I put the rubber uh, band on it, that's another four grams. That takes it up to 195. Now, where does that sit with others? Well, the Topeak Hexus 10 or X, uh, we've weighed at 170, 169, 170 uh, on our scales. The Topeak Mini Pro 20, that comes out at 150 grams. So it is a little bit heavier than some of the competitors that have roughly the same sort of tools on them. So on balance, where do we sit with this multi-tool? Well, it is very definitely, uh, I think, aimed at people who are going to be bikepacking and those that are going out on the trails or the gravel for a longer journey and want something a bit more substantial. What are the pros of this? Well, they're twofold. The key pro is, or are, the pro is, but they are the hex keys that you can take off and actually use and work with like a proper tool. So that's the number one pro. The second pro is that it's got a flathead screwdriver. And whilst in most bike circumstances, that's not necessarily a great thing compared to a Phillips, it is something that when you're doing some other tasks that might be related to your back bike packing would be very useful. Pros, what are the cons? Well, arguably weight, but you probably wouldn't use this tool on a lightweight road bike. You'd use something a bit smaller and a bit lighter anyway. It doesn't have tire levers built into it. Is that a con? Well, yes and no. 
Yes, if you want it on a road bike and you just want something with everything nice and neat and packed together. But again, if you're bike packing, you've probably got a more substantial puncture repair kit and you will have tire levers with that. So again, horses for courses, what do you want for it? And the other slight con is there's no Phillips screwdriver. So little adjustments to limit screws in particular, uh, you will find a little bit more awkward with this tool. There we are then, the Blackburn Wayside. Uh, really, horses for courses. This is a tool that I may well take if I was on a bike packing adventure or gravel riding on my mountain bike for a long and possibly multi-day ride. It's, it's got its advantages. If I'm on a road ride and out training, well, I'm probably not going to take this one. There's other multi-tools that I would go for. So, as I say, Horses for Courses, it's a really good one and I do like the idea of having those key hex tools as proper Allen keys that you can take off the tool. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so they can watch as well. There is a link in the description down below to Wiggle and many of the products that we review on here are sold through Wiggle. Uh, the great thing about that is you will often get some great deals and it doesn't affect the price you pay, except you get the great deals, but we at the channel get a very small percentage of what you pay and it helps keep the channel going. So that will be much appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed, well, just click on the little round picture down there and similarly, we have a website, just click there, and we have more affiliates and deals there. If you want to see a review of the Hexus X or 10, that's up there, and kind of related, but how to check your chain, just up there. So thanks again for watching, enjoy your biking.